<clears throat> so, hey, oh, you know, hit the, yeah. what they call it? Hit the like button, subscribe, and all that kind of stuff. You know the deal. Make it happen so we can come back again next week, next month, tomorrow, next hour. I don't know. Whew. Have you ever noticed? That's the thing. Have you ever noticed? Have you ever noticed that we have to beg each other to do business with one another? Have you ever noticed that? That we have uh, an easier time, let's put it, an easier experience dealing with other people than, you know, with each other. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah, you have noticed that, huh? Interesting, isn't it? I think it's very interesting myself. I think it's part of the uh, syndrome. They got a lot of names for different things. But when you're taught that something exists, whether it exists or not, don't matter. When you're taught something exists, then that's what you know. And that's how you behave. So if you're told that somebody's a demon, <clears throat> witch, uh, awful person or something like that, if you, especially if you're taught that in your, in your childhood, and you're taught over an extended period of time, <clears throat> it's going to be very difficult to get that out of your mind. I don't care what that person does. You're not even going to give them a chance it's over 50% in your mind that that's how they are. And that's how, you know, we're in a fix like that. That's why I say always speak the truth, because we have to overcome that headspace that everyone, frankly, has us in. It's not just us. <clears throat> We didn't have our headspace like that some 50, 60 years ago. We were working with each other. I mean, we in our neighborhoods, we had neighborhoods. We didn't we didn't live in no projects. We had we had neighborhoods, and we and and then we had doctors, lawyers, and Indian chiefs in our neighborhood. That's how we put it: doctors, lawyers, and Indian chiefs. We had all that in our neighborhoods, <clears throat> and then all this in a in, enter something. Oh, integration is called. All this integration and assimilation and attempting to become, you know, people moving to the north and get, renting houses. They had houses, land and everything, and food and everything. And they went up north because they wanted to do something. I don't know. Something they were advertising up north and people went for it. That's how it goes. See, the whole thing goes like this. We have everything we need. Now it's up to whoever to, 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 to convince you of things that you want. Yeah. And, oh, you want this because, you know, whatever they make it look like and make you feel like, I guess, if you feel it like that, that you want, you want what they got. The moment you want what they got, they got you. It's a done deal, man. Anybody knows that. <laughs> Any salesman. Talk to any salesman, man. I, I, I excelled at sales. So once you want what another has, that over 50% of the thing is done. It's just a matter of working out the price and the negotiation after that. You see? So then, we already have what we need. However, watch this. I understand that there's a continent referred to as Africa that is filthy rich in minerals and all kind of stuff like that. All kind of, it's just like crazy filthy rich. But the people there are poor. <laughs> it's funny. And they be running to different countries to live better for a better life in those countries. And those countries be like, get out of here. We don't like you niggas. Hey, it's funny to me. But hey. That's what I mean by having what you need. A filthy rich land, but it's not what you want. You want electricity and flip lights and, you know, the rest of that. But check this out. In that filthy rich land, there's already electricity because the electricity comes from the trees. You can get electricity from trees. I just found that out 
one or two weeks ago, and I got the tree in my yard to get electricity from tree. <laughs> you know, we get the electricity from the sun, and we get the electricity from the wind, and we get the electricity from the ground. I just got electricity from the tree. <laughs> We always have what we need, but when we are convinced by advertising,